When we were younger, all we wanted to do was become video game makers. We'd illustrate characters, write epic stories, and design gameplay mechanics. But the next step was to code an actual game. And we never really knew where to start. And we figured that since we didn't know how to write code, we could never truly become video game makers. Fast forward to today, and you could almost say that there are too many ways to start making an actual game. In this video, we're going to look at seven different game engines, some that require coding knowledge, some that don't, and some in between. For each engine, we'll be going over what types of games it is best suited for, what makes it unique, how much it costs to use, and also showcase some great titles that use it. We are Ask Game Dev, and here's how to become a game maker with seven game engines you can use in 2018. First up is Unreal Engine by Epic Games. Unreal Engine is the cream of the crop when it comes to performance. Teams use Unreal to make high-end AAA 3D titles. While it's definitely not a beginner's engine, it's the engine you want to use if you have your sights set on creating a AAA experience. Unreal supports an impressive array of functionality right out of the box and is particularly strong in developing high-quality visuals. Unreal also has a huge developer community and an extensive plugin and content marketplace to help you along the way. In terms of pricing, Unreal Engine is free to download and use. Epic does charge a royalty for all commercial games released that generate a revenue of over $3,000. You can find details about the agreement on their website's FAQ. Some titles made using Unreal Engine include Absolver, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, Snake Pass, and Street Fighter V. Number two, Game Maker by YoYo Games. If you're making a 2D title, one great option is Game Maker Studio 2. Game Maker has been around for years and has developed a great community. A simple search on YouTube will yield a ton of Game Maker tutorials. It also has a great drag and drop interface that's perfect for beginners starting out. Once you get the hang of things though, you can do much more complex things using their libraries and scripting language. Game Maker Studio 2 starts at $39 for a basic license and goes all the way up to $1,500 for its ultimate edition. A free trial is also available. Some great Game Maker titles include Hyperlight Drifter, Hotline Miami, Downwell, and the original Spelunky. Number three, Corona by Corona Labs. Corona is a good engine to use if you're looking to make 2D games for mobile. In terms of ease of use, Corona uses a simple scripting language called Lua and also has a great community with a lot of tutorials. Corona has a very intuitive interface and is great for beginners who want to start learning about game development. One other great thing about Corona is that it has its own marketplace where you can buy assets and plugins that help you with things like analytics and monetization. Pricing is a highlight for Corona as it is completely free. Corona does not charge any fees or royalties for using its core engine. It does, however, sell licenses for its plugins. Corona titles include Gunman Taco Truck, Hoppico, and Zip Zap. Number four, Construct 3 by Skira. Another easy to use 2D engine is Construct 3. With a drag and drop interface and a library of built-in behaviors, you can quickly develop your game ideas. It's ideal for game makers who don't have deep programming skills given its intuitive drag and drop interface. It has an active plugin marketplace and getting support from other developers is relatively easy. One cool thing about Construct 3 is that you can export an HTML5, meaning once you've created your game, you can throw it up on the web and have your friends play it using their browser. Construct 3 has a free trial available, and licenses start at $99 a year for a personal license. Some Construct 3 games include The Next Penelope, Airscape, Cosmo Coria, and Coin Op Story. Number five, 
Fusion 2.5 by Click Team. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most culturally popular games made in the last five years, and that game was made with Fusion. Similar to the previous 2D engines mentioned, Fusion has an easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface that allows for level, event, and animation creation without needing to write code. This engine has been around for decades and has a robust selection of plugins from the dedicated user community. Fusion is also good for non-gaming development, including tools and multimedia projects. Fusion 2.5 licenses start at $99.99 with optional add-ons like their Android Exporter. One interesting thing about Fusion is that you can buy it on Steam. They also have a free edition on their website. Some titles made using Fusion include Plantera, The Escapists, Fort Meow, to parry wave after wave. and as we mentioned, Five Nights at Freddy's. Number 6, RPG Maker. If you're looking to make a 2D top-down RPG, then look no further, RPG Maker is the engine for you. This engine has been around since the mid-90s and has a large online community of developers looking to help you with development. The latest iteration of the engine is RPG Maker MV, and out of the box it features a drag and drop interface, a character generator, built-in battle systems, inventory systems, and more. More experienced developers can create more complex functions using JavaScript. RPG Maker MV is available on Steam for $80. Some RPG Maker hits include To the Moon, Lisa, and Final Fantasy Legend of Balance. And finally, we get to number 7, Unity. Unity might be the most flexible of the bunch. With Unity, you can create 2D and 3D games. You can release games on PC, Mac, mobile, and console, including the beloved Nintendo Switch. In terms of ease of use, Unity does have a very user-friendly drag-and-drop interface, but it would be wise to learn C-sharp to get the most out of the engine. Another great thing is that Unity has its own asset store filled with 3D models, animations, tools, plugins, and more. We love Unity because it's quick to prototype with, and you can get set up very quickly. In terms of pricing, the best part about Unity is that its personal license is free. Some of the best games of the last few years were made with Unity, like Cuphead, Monument Valley, Superhot, and Night in the Woods. And before we leave you, here are some honorable mentions. For those looking to use minimal code or no code at all, three options are Stencil, Buildbox, and Game Salad. Well there you have it, 10 game engines to get you started on becoming a video game maker. We've included links to each one in the description. Now that you know all of the engines, take a look at this game. Can you guess what engine it was made with? Let us know what engine you think it was made with in the comments. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we are Ask Game Dev, and we make videos on games, the game industry, and more. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe.